My name is Morton Lordson. I'm a distinguished professor of composition at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. I've been associated with this university both as a student and a faculty for now 52 years. And I'm happy to talk with you today. This is a beautiful campus. When I first came down here, of course, my focus was going to be on music, and it continued to be. One of the great things that this university does is to allow very disparate minors. Uh, my own son, one of my three sons, went here, uh, majored and got a degree in poli sci, did a minor in recording arts, and came to me after his degree saying, you know, uh, Pop, I really like recording arts. It combines technology and music. Um, I think I'm going to explore that. And I said, you bet, go right ahead. And he's had a very, very successful career as a sound designer and a composer for, um, for uh, commercials and all that since then. And I like that idea. Well, one of the things that I was required to take were classes in English, and I had a very fine teacher named John Nichols, and he had an excellent class on poetry, on contemporary poetry, British and American poetry, and I ended up using that as my minor, and of course I use it every day, because not only do I read poetry every day, but I have now, at this point in my life, have eight vocal cycles, multi-movement works, based upon text by a variety of artists in a variety of languages, generally hung together by a themat one theme, such as winter or roses or eternal light or unrequited love as, in, as expressed in Renaissance Italian poetry, et cetera, et cetera. And so reading poetry, and, and this is one of the great benefits of a liberal arts education and, of course, this school. And so that became my minor. And I read it every day. And I would like to read a poem or two as part of this, especially one that I recently set by the great national treasure, Dana Joya, who is on the faculty here. We share him with other departments at the school. He's a Judge Whitney professor of poetry and public policy, chair of the National Endowment for the Arts for seven years, and did so much to improve art throughout, of all kinds throughout this country. When he retired from that position, although Obama wanted to keep him on, but he, he wanted to do other things. He had multi-opportunities, including possibilities for college presidencies, high-paying jobs in so many ways. The man chose to come to USC to be a professor out of all the possibilities. And he said for a number of reasons, but two struck him deeply. When he was a young boy growing up in a blue-collar family in Hawthorne, California, which is a suburb of Los Angeles, Mexican mother, Italian father, no money in the household for frivolous stuff at all. He said two things were very important to him at that time, aside from family. The Hawthorne Public Library, where he could go and read books for free, and the School of Music at the University of Southern California that had concerts virtually every night for free and welcomed him as a young man to come down and hear these concerts. That was very deeply affecting to him. So he wanted to come back to this place. And he teaches here. He's a colleague of ours now, and we are so fortunate to have him here. One of the most recent pieces that I composed was a setting of Dana Joya's poem called Prayer. Dana lost a son. Dana and his, and his wife Mary lost a son years ago to, to SIDS, the Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. The little boy lasted four months and was in seemingly perfect health and then all of a sudden died from this unexplained Malady. Dana wrote this poem 
that I have set to music now that's become very popular and done throughout the world. I wrote it originally as a song for my colleague here, Rod Guilfrey, in the vo vocal faculty. Then I did a version for chorus, and then I did a ver version for Rod and his daughter, Karen, who is a graduate of this university and my former student. But I want you to listen to the imagery of this poem where he asks nature or the spirits or whatever's out there in the most eloquent language you can imagine to watch over his little boy. This is called Prayer by Dana Joya. Echo of the clock tower, footstep in the alleyway. Sweep of the wind sifting the leaves. Jeweler of the spider web, connoisseur of autumn's opulence. Blade of lightning harvesting the sky. Keeper of the small gate, choreographer of entrances and exits. Midnight whisper traveling the wires. Seducer, healer, deity, or thief, I will see you soon enough in the shadow of the rainfall, in the brief violet darkening a sunset. But until then, I pray, watch over him as a mountain guards its covert oar and the harsh falcon its flightless young. Now that's a poem you want to read again and again and again to savor the exquisite use of language and the overall meaning of that poem. <laughs> 